Since ancient times, the oval has been a symbol for the womb. And apparently, even the little green man in the UFO spaceships know this. And look how there's a circle in the oval, just as on the lawn where the, uh, where the Washington Monument is standing. Exactly like that. And the obelisk is a phallic symbol and as it is carved on top it is the symbol for the circumcision an old pharaonic tradition for the slaves and a covenant with Satan, Satan or Satan. This is the symbol for the pharaonic warfare. Mix first with the obelisk in the oval, the womb, and fight the enemy from within as a virus and strike unseen as a horned viper, being the satanic hand. And to do so, they had to take over all key positions in society, like we see here. And um, they look like us, they talk like us, they speak like us, they behave like us, well almost. We can't recognize them anymore. And the enemy within is very real, they fight us from the inside out. Um, they are the real pharaohs from Egypt, the Per A. So when Clinton, Monica and the Cigar had their triangle affair going on in the Oval, the enemy within of pharaohs and masons knew exactly what was going on, that the meshes was classical AIHS stuff. Now watch Isis behind. Where a Cigar played the obelisk and phallic symbol, Clinton for Osiris, Monica for Isis and the Oval Office for the womb and the ictus. Go and f mm, multiply yourself, the Pharaoh and the Cigar said, because the calf top is the phallic front, so penetration has indeed succeeded. And for the worldwide royal Per A community, it felt indeed as being set back 4,000 years ago at the royal court at the River Nile with all the wonderful stories going on with cigars and such. So here you can see Muslims throwing stones at an obelisk and the pharaohs, I hope. This is very nice, I like this. But what Mecca, St. Peter's Square, the Vatican and Washington America have all in common is the obelisk and the oval, as these pharaohs rule the whole world, all peoples and all races. So this is what the obelisks in the Vatican and in Washington have in common they both portray the full act of penetration inside the oval. Just as outside on the lawn the obelisk has penetrated the oval of the Vesica. And even on the Muslim Kaaba, the oval of the mother goddess and probably Isis can be seen in Mecca. Ka is pharaonic for the soul when still alive and Ba after death. Like Ka Ba. And when Allah stands beside it, it becomes it becomes Ka Ba La, the Kabal. Well this looks like the uh, the hand sign Mrs. Miracle makes, doesn't it? And if you cross Upper Egypt from the Pharaohs, from Amarna, and you cross the Red Sea, well, you, you get in Mecca immediately, which is a, uh, a harbour town. So, um, what can I say? So, if you see politicians like the German Merkel doing the Oval with her hands, then you know where that's from. It's uh, the, the symbol of the Sisters of Isis, where the name Switzerland is from. 
see the Pharaoh show. Moreover, considering that Mur or Mer in Merkel is the Pharaonic word for pyramid, and Kal used to be Ka, the soul as in Merka or Merkaba, almost like America, where there's a big obelisk in the oval. So let's all unite mankind. We have no choice. Forget about religion and race issues and get rid of these pharaohs together. So here we see a crop circle showing the Swiss cross. Now what are these crop circles warning us for? Maybe that the pharaohs have their base in Switzerland. The Washington Monument obelisk, the phallic symbol and symbol of the pharaonic domination, standing within the Vesica, as in the, uh, the logo of the Olympic Games, Mastercard, Gucci, uh, Coop, Swiss supermarket, uh, Audi cars, etc. This is a, a Freemasonry symbol, the two circles with the obelisk like in the middle. Mastercard. See the Pharaoh show and the Octagon series for more. Or the, the, the Illuminati car from Ingolstadt in Germany where Adam Weishaupt came from and uh, many many others. Octogon in Rome with a real obelisk, a real Egyptian pharaonic obelisk in the middle. So this is where the Swiss rule, Octogon, the Swiss Pope's guard, they rule here. Octogon. See the Pharaoh show in the Octogon series for more. Octogon. St. Peter Square, Vatican. This is where the uh, Swiss Pope's guard rules. The Octagon rules here. Octagon and the Nazi Templars from Switzerland rule the US, the UK and the entire world. And in this video I will give you some more proof of that. You have to watch my previous vids on Octagon. Octogon, the Pharaoh show about how Octagon Swiss, Switzerland financed Adolf Hitler in 1923 and the rest to fully understand the continents of this video. I will not repeat all the previous things I showed you in the Octogon Pharaoh series again every time. So here we can see some US police hats which are all octagonal by shape because that represents the code word and secret symbology of the Nazi Templars from Octagon, Switzerland. And here are their octagonal badges. <laughs> Octagon is here. The US police got formed in the mid 19th century around 1840 or 1853 uh, well, watch the octagonal shape. Octagon is here. And some more octagon. And some more. And in the early police days they still looked like policemen and not like an army as today, 150 years later. And they didn't have the octagon hat yet. That came later. They came together with the rise of the Templar Nazis in the 30th. Yeah, a lot of octagon. Octogon from Switzerland, the Templars. Look at it. American police in the beginning. Huh. Well, how could it be else? And this also is the reason 
that the US brought all the German Gestapo and SS Nazi war criminals and butchers who had a Templars background from Octagon, Switzerland into the US working for the OSS and the CIA. And they quickly got integrated by their fellow US Templars, Masons and Pharaohs slowly transforming the US into a Nazi state under Pharaonic Nazi Templar rule from Octagon, the motherland. So this is, it says, uh, the Nazi, the uh, SS secret police. There's an octagon. Here the octagonal hats of the, uh, the police in Hamburg in Germany, like New York. There was probably some Templar or Freemason who wanted to have these hats. Yeah. There is not much left of the original values of freedom and liberty for which true Americans fought so hard for out of the days before 1776. At a time when the Americans themselves were called terrorists by the British Empire. Now the enemy, both foreign and domestic, have definitely and thoroughly taken over, using an entire army within, who wear the symbols of octagon on their heads and on their octagon badges. This is the true army of the Nazi Templars from Octagon. This is the true military wing of the Pharaohs, the Nazi Templars. Now what do they need a tank for? Oh. Their financial wing also carries the signs of Octagon or others. Look at the octagonal shape. Just as the uh, Chase Bank here. Well, this is a, uh, a typical pharaonic Nazi Templar bank from Octagon, Switzerland, originally. Well, Octagon is the symbol for the Templars and the Templars cross. And it's a secret code for the Templars. And the Nazi Templars, because the Nazis, they were real Templars using the uh, organization Octogon and Switzerland was founded by the Templars and the Templars founded the Swiss banks and this is how you get to the, uh, the octagonal uh, chase logo which is in fact what you can see here so this is a bank of the Octogon Nazi Templars from Switzerland their base only, well, they talk American, they act American, they smile American, and uh, but they are not. They are not. And the political wing of Octogon are the Freemasons. And the motherland is Octogon, Switzerland, carrying the name of Isis, the Hall of Babylon. And look how this interior octagon army has become a menace to freedom and justice. How violent and aggressive they are. Look, this is the octagon club. The, uh, the terror club. They're hanging around at street corners looking for victims. The military overkill equipment they have and training to kill innocent citizens every day. Well, look at the, uh, be aware of the guys with the octagon hat. He's a member of the octagon Nazi Templars. This guy has octagon on his head. The symbol and secret code for the Nazi Templars. The enemy within the interior army. The enemy, both foreign and domestic.
Beware of Octogon. It's on his head. They show it all over. Just follow the signs. The US Marines are also led by Octogon. Well, look at the eight pointed Marine hat, the two ply hat, of which they carry the symbol over their heads as representing the Octogon chain of command coming from above. And here's one for my country, the South African uh, police hat obeying to Octogon. Well, look at the form of it. Uh, there's Octogon. It's over the whole world. They're ruling the world. The UK police was the first in the world and got founded in 1829. Well, look at their Octogon logo badge. And here the Freemason checkerboard symbology for us being the pawns being moved around by them. And uh, look at the top, it's almost a, uh, a Templar's cross. And why is one part missing? Oh, that's weird. Well, some more checkerboard stuff of the Freemasons and the Octogon of the enemy within the Nazi Templars, the Universal Army to control the people worldwide. And here, some more Octogon Templar stuff. And oh, what do I see here? A Templar's cross on it. Whoa, the enemy within. Octogon. 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 Safer? Really? Well, why are you showing Octagon, mate? Octogon. Well, it's all the same. It's all Octogon. The worldwide police force is Octogon Nazi Templars from Octogon, Switzerland. So, well, check it out yourself. Like in a beehive for Queen Isis, we are the workers and work for them. So this Octogon Nazi Templar army can hang around at street corners. They are free and we the Masons, coming to the true meaning of the word. And for our kids and the next generation of slaves, they show the Bermuda Octagon uh, in the cartoons, so they get used to it. So later in life when they see a police badge or a, uh, a police cap, police hat, then they're already used to it. And, uh, obey the signs. Octagon Switzerland, the whore of Babylon. They have seven heads of state as the monster who divide ten ministries among each other, the ten horns. The Nazi Templars of Switzerland, their Swiss banks and their pharaonic masons rule the world. They're everywhere. Just follow the signs. In this film I'll prove to you that NATO is a part of Octogon. And I already told you that Octogon rules over Pentagon. The logo consists of eight parts which you can see here. The dark ones and the white ones. Which is already proof enough but there's more, there's far more to it, which is only visible for the trained eye. In just 10 minutes time, you will know that the NATO logo holds a Templar's cross, the number 8, because of the 8 parts. It holds an octagon, a Swiss flag and Swiss army logo, and we can all smell the swastika in it, can't we? I mean, just focus on the dark parts of it. You can already see the swastika, 
but I'll show you a better one in a moment. So here we can see the eight original pieces of Octogon. You see that eight pieces. So I'll show you that I can make with this an octagon, a Swiss flag of the uh, the Ben Swiss Bendover Swiss flag of the uh, the Swiss Army logo, a NATO cross, a swastika. Yeah. So first of all is uh, NATO with the um, original eight uh, octagon puzzle parts and if I turn this around here I will turn them all around yes a Templar's cross with the same eight parts of the octagon parts of the NATO parts it's very mathematical and these are very smart guys uh, so octagon here's a Templar's cross from octagon uh, Switzerland which was founded by the Templars in 1291 see the Pharaoh show and the octagon series of Gure and on YouTube and of course we all sense the swastika in it so now I'm going to show you uh, that we can make the um, swastika I just move a couple of parts around well, what do you know? A real swastika. So the Nazis are within the NATO. With the eight original octagon pieces of NATO, we can make a Templar's cross and a swastika, and even more. Well, we know now that most of the Templar Nazis from World War II, as Werner von Braun and other mass murderers, well, that was the guy who made the V2 rockets, killing people in London and Coventry and using up uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, concentration camp slaves. Um, so these mass murderers and war criminals, they went to the US, Argentina, Switzerland, etc. They scattered all over the world, working for secret services and octagon blue army forces and continued to kill, murder and torture people. In South America, for the CIA, which stands for the Cocaine Import Agency, the OSS and even stayed in Germany, working for the octagon blue army police and the BND German Secret Service who had real Gestapo and SS butchers and mass murderers working for them. This is a fact. Look it up. And with these very same pieces and this very same form like this I can make an octagon. This is the head. Octagon. So this is one, and this is two, and here is three, like this, and here's four, and I'll get to the other four in a minute, and I'll show you the octagon with the same pieces of the Templars cross the swastika and the NATO logo. So anyone needs any more proofs now? Yeah, we can fit them together like this. And this is number three. And here's number four. Like this. I'll just get the rest. We well, already see it now, eh? Well, there we go. This is Octogon. Do you think this is a coincidence? Get out of here. They are... They are rubbing sand in our eyes. Just like the... Uh, the Pharaonic Viper Snake, which is hiding under the sand.
This is why they put sand in their eyes, right? And these Nazi Templars of Octogon went into the NATO throwing chemical and biological weapons of mass destruction upon the people of North Korea releasing hell in Vietnam and Southeast Asia murdering millions and again using WOM weapons of mass destruction as Agent Orange using DU depleted uranium in Yugoslavia during the Balkan War and DU is a weapon of mass destruction it is and now they use DU and other WOM against the Muslims in Libya, Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan etc. thus even killing and mutilating the offspring that hasn't even been born yet for generations to come so in fact NATO with their Nazi swastika Templar octagon logo never did not use weapons of mass destruction in any of NATO's wars they made use of WOM in every single one of NATO war NATO's wars well here it is this is the same symbol the octagon symbol as I showed you on the octagon motherland on the uh, the Swiss army barracks just across the um, the secret service do you think this is a coincidence no it isn't well there it is I showed you this one again in uh, before in one of my other vids the vid before on uh, the octagon in the motherland octagon in on a Swiss army barracks just across the uh, the Swiss secret service there it is I told you I showed you this before the NATO sign is in here and the, this is two times the Templar symbol as well and two times the NATO symbol so this is the motherland of NATO and the Templars you understand and now I show you the bend over uh, Swiss Army uh, logo uh, I'll do it like this uh, oh, just a minute like this see well there it is again eight pieces the same pieces of the NATO logo with these eight pieces I can make a NATO logo, a Templars logo, a swastika so this is the reason for which the uh, the logo of the Swiss Army is like slightly bent over this is the reason I just showed you the reason this is a very complex um, mathematical symbols these are and they're being made by very very smart people who are um, who are real good I mean we don't we shouldn't underestimate the enemy within so you see it, it, it fits it's all the same they just change jackets and, and speak other languages you know but it's still the same Templars <laughs> they rule the world do you need any more proofs well here's the logo of the Swiss Army and you can see it's a bit bent over and watch the octagon symbol behind just as I showed you <clears throat> on the Swiss Army barracks in front of the, um, the Swiss Secret Service and again you see the octagon behind it it's three times the octagon for the motherland octagon you see this is octagon and octagon rules over pentagon the Nazi Templars of Switzerland right well, here you can see it again the uh, logo of the Swiss Army the Nazi Templars of Switzerland you can see the octagon flag and watch how the logo in red how it is bent over you know, which I'm gonna show to you later which is very it's a part of the octagon it's uh, it's very mathematic and here the uh, the Templars wing the executional wing it's actually here a part of four well I thought they had only three wings the financial wing, the, um, the Swiss banks, the, uh, the military wing, the Swiss Nazi Templars of Octagon and the, uh, the political wing, the Freemasons but apparently here there's four you see 
I so I don't know. Maybe somebody else can find out. And in fact, the motherland Octogon is officially not in the NATO. Because Switzerland has to stay clean and neutral. And the brain of the beast with seven heads and ten horns, see the Pharaoh show, can't get involved and get its fingers dirty. But watch and follow the Octagon, Templars and Pharaonic Switzer symbols in Switzerland. Watch how NATO entirely surrounds and protects the base of and motherland of the Pharaohs and how Octogon Switzerland only uses NATO equipment as helicopters, tanks, airplanes, etc. Even the Swiss rifle ammunition is 223 Remington standard NATO ammo and adapted to the rest of NATO. The Octogon Templar Nazis from Switzerland just slip into another jacket all the time, speak another language and make a new logo. And it should be clear now that this logo of their latest military organization withholds all the logos of their previous ones right in front of their, our eyes. And we got sand in our eyes, I tell you. The sand of the viper, the pharaonic viper, which strikes very quickly, is poisonous. And um, the satanic hand, well I told you about that. These are the ones that rule. I, I, I told you that a Templar's cross is from a pyramid and the swastika as well. So the, the NATO logo is in fact from a pyramid. And even my sandals have a swastika on it. Look at it. Isn't that horrible? This video should go viral. The obvious and visual proofs it displays are striking. Someone called me yesterday a truth-seeking missile. Well, I hope that the impact will be devastating and that truth will prevail. I fear the Swiss Nazi Templar police from Octogon, Switzerland will hold me up again after this vid as I've already received numerous murder threats by them uh, numerous arrests by um, their well it's not really anti by their terrorist squad this vid is for humanity see the Pharaoh show in the Octagon series the Pharaonic Freemason state doesn't do anything against Nazis which is in fact living off the hatred between peoples and races. This could have been clearly witnessed through the recent Nazi killings in Germany, where the German police and secret service helped young Nazis to perpetrate their crimes and murdered a lot of people. So we the people must help these young Nazis because the state only tries to execute their divide and rule politics. You see the octagon shape here? At the octagon motherland in the middle. The badge of the IPA, the octagon blue Templar army, all over the world against the peoples of the world. We the people must show these young Nazis where the real enemy is and the enemy is not the immigrant or the foreigner. By connecting all the angles a perfect octagon appears. And when drawing a line encircling all the angles, angles again, again we have a perfect octagonal shape. Octagon again. So Hexagon is the political wing for the Freemasons and Octagon is the military wing for the Nazi Templars. And in fact this is a military barracks here in Bern, Switzerland. So Octagon are the Nazi Templars, the military wing. And um, here is the, uh, the Swiss Secret Service. Yeah, so 
it's not a coincidence that this is octagon. It's not a coincidence. And eight, octagon is the number eight in it. In fact, the Nazis are using the eight as a code on YouTube and the internet because the the H is the eighth letter in the alphabet. So that's Heil Hitler or an 18, like in combat 18. The one stays, stands for Adolf and the eight for Hitler. But of course the, it, it doesn't, it isn't. It is again, um, it means octagon, just as the, uh, the SS is not, doesn't stand for some rune, uh, Germanic runics and all that. It stands for Isis, because in Pharaonic, in Pharaonic the, um, uh, uh, words are being written with the consonants only so if you write down Isis it is um, SS like with the skull and bones like underneath yeah. so that was uh, the octagon so this here is the uh, Swiss Secret Service they're very dangerous and it says on the monument it says six pillars so six is for hexagon so this is hexagon is the uh, octagon is the military part and hexagon is the uh, like the head the Freemasons this is not a coincidence so this is the main police station in Bern the capital of Switzerland of octagon it has exactly eight pillars here in front, so that's octagon. But six are different, they have a different form. So that means six is here as well. And uh, six is uh, hexagon, so it means the Freemasons and the head is here as well. So these are here, three here, two there, and another three here. So six and eight as well. So there's both here, hexagon and octagon. Octagon for the Nazi Templars and their military wing. And here, I did this before, here's the all-seeing eye. It has 33 rays and 33 chains, which is not a coincidence. It has everything here. The world domination and uh, the, the grail, our blood is here. So octagon is here. It's very, very clear. It's exactly eight. And this is different, so it shows six as well. So hexagon is here for the, uh, the ones giving the orders. And octagon is here as well for the one who execute the orders. The all-seeing eye. Das Bullenauge in German. They're here, all right. And the uh, Freemasonry Triangle. I showed this before in the Pharaoh show. And the eye is looking at, yeah, Isis. There she is. Here they are, all eight. So the hex hexagon stands for the head shed and political wing of the pharaohs with square and compass forming the six-pointed diagram. So the number six stands for those who give the orders. And the octagon or octogon stands for the executional military wing of Nazi Templars Army, the Universal Blue Army, where you can see the blue color here, and Octagon, the Motherland. So the number eight uh, stands for Octagon. There's no doubt. There's absolutely no doubt. So if you see like eight pillars, you know, just like a monument, well, you know what it is. And if you see like six pillars or the number six being used, well, you know what it is show you more 
and that Nazism has nothing to do with protecting the white race. On the contrary, the Nazis bombed and murdered millions of white European children. Hitler, in fact, he despised of the Germans and didn't want to see any around at the Burghof. So he tore down all the neighboring houses and put their owners in concentration camps. And watch the octagonal form. Hitler murdered one million non-Jewish Germans in concentration camps and three and a half million Germans passed time in there. So Nazism is in fact an organization against the white race of Europe. And when young and misled Nazis used the hidden Nazi codes 18 for Adolf Hitler or 88 for Heil Hitler, they do in fact feed mystical powers to the very dark and sinister pharaonic organization Octogon of the Nazi Templars. As the 8 in fact stands for Octogon and their base Switzerland and not for the 8th letter H of the alphabet. Very similar to SS Skull and Bones the famous Nazi logo in fact feeding human energies through obscure ways to the Freemason altar of Isis the Goddess and Whore of Babylon because SS stands for Isis as in Pharaonic like in Hebrew only the consonants are written so Dich ruft die SS actually means Isis is calling you so you can die and Skull and Bones is a Yale-located Yale Freemason Lodge that supplied a great number of US presidents. So here you can see SS for ISIS and the Freemason Skull and Bones. So it's pharaonic Freemasonry and has nothing to do with Europe, Aryan stuff or the white race. Absolutely nothing. It's all occult. Now this submissive haircut here of a group of neo-Nazis is a typical pharaonic hairstyle to subdue yourself to the will of the ones in charge. As subduing yourself into the pharaoh's army and blindly obey to the orders of the pharaohs and the Fuhrer and Octogon and the US Army. Well look, there's a bunch of skinheads here. A bunch of pharaonic skinheads. You guys you think you're defending the European race? Get out of here. This is the remains of a Germanic warrior. And look at the lovely long hair on his skull. Look at it. This is Germanic. And this is a Germanic warrior with long hair and not with a skin head, that's pharaonic. And this here is a Celtic warrior, look at the long hair. So you skinheads and Nazis, you look very foreign and immigrant like to me. Pharaonic immigrants, <laughs> well, I mean, you destroyed Europe. You killed Europeans, so what else to expect? You're definitely not Europeans. These are Europeans with long hair. You got it? So here again, this is a true European warrior with long hair. And not like a foreign pharaonic skinhead Nazi who just wants to destroy Europe as they did and which I always want to do. And the notorious sign of the horned hand of the devil or Baphomet 
does not represent a goat, in fact. And watch the eight dots on the submarine, which is the executional force of the army, a submarine. The word Satan comes from the Pharaonic and Semitic word Shaitan, very much used by the Muslims, meaning a snake. And the snake in question is the Pharaonic horned viper, which hides in the sand underneath the surface, just as the enemy within hides under the surface before releasing a very fast and deadly poisonous strike, thus coming to the true meaning of the horned satanic hand. We hide amongst you, and you cannot see us, until we suddenly strike with deadly power. They all do it. It's one of the signs of the pharaohs and their fast-striking viper. Let's do the viper, the hideous sign. Even he did the viper. V for victory is the Templars V and the viper, the pharaonic hideous sign, the satanic hand. And it just means Europeans go and kill yourselves. And we, the Third Reich, the Third Empire, the enemy within, the Third Party, will take over afterwards. And this guy actually, he was a mass murderer in South Africa. They murdered 25,000 mostly children in concentration camps as they couldn't finish off the Boers in another way. So if we see our masters giving us the hand the satanic hand, it has nothing to do with a goat. A goat is a peaceful and useful animal that mostly eats grass. But this is the pharaonic symbol of the pharaonic viper, which, which is hiding underneath the surface and strikes very quickly and is very poisonous. I mean, this is a pharaonic symbol. It has nothing to do with the goat. Okay. Look at how the pharaohs wear the snake on their foreheads and how cold and blue-blooded the Per A Big House royal dynasty is. And look at the horned viper hieroglyphs as you can see here top left. The enemy within is very real and only when all peoples, all races and all religions unite only then humanity can win this battle against pharaonic forces of darkness and the forces of octogon switzerland if not we'll all perish in total slavery we can fight each other again after we've defeated the pharaohs but not before the choice is yours Watch the Pharaoh Show and the Octogon series for more. This here is an important film that everyone should see. Le système Octogon in French or Schwarze Kassen in German. But because the producers of the film have no insider knowledge of the initiated, they ask themselves why the name Octogon or Octagon. Because there's nothing octagonal to see. A justified and very awakening question. Well, I'm about to explain you the complementary ingredient to the film. This here is the Templars Cross and the Templars founded Switzerland, the Swiss banks and the Freemasons in 1291. See the Pharaoh show from Gure, G-I-U-R-E-H. By connecting all the angles, a perfect octagon appears. And this here is a simplified Templar's cross with the very same colours, the national flag of the base of the Swiss Nazi Templars, Switzerland. 
And when drawing a line and circling all the angles, again we'll have a perfect octagonal shape. The name octagon is a secret code word for their base Switzerland of the Nazi Templars, just as hexagon used to be the key code for France. Nowadays everyone in France knows this name. And when the Swiss Nazi Templars transmit help octagon, octagon is endangered to their worldwide web of international Freemasonry, the movement of power on all key positions in the entire world will be activated to help and protect. Coming to the main reason that no government or state in the world will ever do something against Switzerland and their crimes against humanity of this highly criminal state and people without conscience. So octagon or octagon is the encoded key password for the Templars and for Switzerland. So here's a pyramid, well it's supposed to be a pyramid in 3D, the real pyramid. Um, how do the pharaohs show it if they want to show it in 2D? To sew it on a piece of cloth or on a piece of paper? I'm going to show you this now. I already told you that in the pharaoh show. So let's push it down. I'm going to push it down now. Well, there you go, a Templar's Cross, as the Templars founded Switzerland in 1291. And, uh, yeah, like the Iron Cross, the Germans have it. Well, I mean, the Swiss financed the Germans, as we know, as I showed you in my film, as Hitler came here in 23. So they paid him, and he had to obey them, right? Uh, even the Pope has it. So this is a fold-out pyramid. The pharaohs are ruling the whole world. And um, now if you just push it down or fold it out, now it's ready to be sewn on a jacket or on a shield or at the Pope's clothing, right? The Templar's cross is pharaonic. Look at it, the bloke is even wearing the sign. He's wearing the sign of the devil, right under. He's one of the pharaohs, the priest of Amun. As if one is not enough, it's full of air. There it is, I just showed it to you. It's a pyramid. There's no crime in the world against humanity that doesn't pass the Templars nation of Switzerland. Their banks, their Templars, their mercenaries, their financing of Adolf Hitler uh, and the rest. Hitler wanted to build Germania or Germania, the uh, capital of the world. And uh, here it is, this is a part of the scale model, which is much bigger. And there he is, together with Albert Speer, looking at the scale model of Germania. And in fact the scale model of Germania is full of New World Order symbols as the obelisk and the octagon. So... And that's why Mr. Hitler said, uh, one people, one empire, and one Führer, one leader. Uh, this is the new world order. One mixed world with one pharaonic leader. So here we can see Germania, the scale model, the maquette, with the uh, pharaonic sun hieroglyph four times in the door, in the wood behind. 
This Nazi maquette or scale model was made by Albert Speer, Hitler, Hitler's architect, and it was Hitler himself who had drawn it, as he already did this in the beginning of the 20th century in Vienna, in Austria. And Hitler was indeed an intelligent man and a fine artist, who knew perfectly well the meaning of the obelisk and the octagon, for which he is responsible here in the world capital of Germania. As the obelisk is the symbol of the pharaonic domination, he proves here that Octagon, Switzerland, is the base of the pharaohs. Just as Hitler's grandfather, Mr. Frankenberger, was of true pharaonic descent. And by putting the obelisk in the Octagon in Germania, is his way of expressing his gratitude to his finances from Octagon, Switzerland, who financed him from 1923 on. So here's Mr. Hitler with the Swiss pulleys and the Swiss army. You can see the uniforms there with the guy with the gun in his pocket. In Switzerland, 1923, from then on they uh, kept on financing him. On this occasion it was 30,000 Swiss francs, which is about half a million dollars today. They did it. Octagon did it. And Mr. Hitler confesses that the Nazis were in fact the order of the Templars of Octagon, the Nazi Templars to whom he belonged. And because the Nazi Templars of Octagon were all of the pharaonic per a nobility, he has put the obelisk and pharaonic symbol in the middle of Octagon of the Templars, Switzerland. The Templars were no monks. These are not things monks do. They don't kill and, and, and murder and lie and, and pillage. They were all noblemen. And as they were all second or third sons, they were not entitled to the castle, the land, the power and the concubines. They got absolutely nothing. So these poor noblemen traditionally went into a monastery. And it was here where these poor aristocrats got organised and call themselves the poor monks of the temple instead. You see the link? The poor noblemen and the poor monks. They organized themselves with the priests of Amun and decided to create their own kingdom. Octogon of Switzerland on August the 1st, 1291. But for a kingdom you need money and gold. So they decided to get what, what was theirs. From their pyramids hidden under the sand the Templars treasure so the uh, the grave robbers were in fact them themselves and as they were not many enough they convinced the stupid Europeans and their children as we can see here and there were children's crusades you know to get rid of them to come along and that some holy city called Jerusalem needed to be saved. Just as Mr. Saddam Hussein had um, so-called weapons of mass destruction. Well, in fact, the NATO and the Americans, they use weapons of mass destruction against the Iraqi people and in Afghanistan, in Libya, while they're using depleted uranium, which is a weapon of mass destruction. And when they finally had all their gold from Egypt, they betrayed the European crusaders to Saladin, who was one of them. Then, immediately after, with so many European men dead, the European women had no defence, and the witch hunt on good European women could start. By the Swiss Inquisition, and their Swiss manual, the Maleus Maleficarum, or Witch's Hammer, written by two Swiss from Octogon, Switzerland, Heinrich Kramer and Inquisitores Jacobus Sprenger. So this is Octogon, Switzerland, with Hitler's pharaonic obelisk in the middle, in the capital of the world, Germania. And don't you think that the Nazi Templars of Octagon, Switzerland, lost the war? Think of the paperclip.
organization and the US. Germany lost the war just as the Crusaders did, betrayed by the pharaonic Nazi Templars from Octogon, Switzerland. But the Nazis didn't lose the war. They got everything they wanted. The gold, brought it to Switzerland, laundered it, and they're still here with their banks. Switzerland did it. Uh, this very important discovery of Hitler's obelisk in the octagon was done by user Wahrheitsbewegung, that means uh, truth movement from Nuremberg, Germany. The Knights Templars built most of their chapels rounded or octagonal because of octagon. Because of this here which I explained in some of my other documentaries. Now here are the construction plans of Hitler's Eagle's Nest built by Martin Bormann for Hitler's 50th anniversary on April the 20th 1939. Watch the um the octagonal form of the uh, reception hall. So here's the reception hall. Octagonal. The Eagle's Nest, the Obersalzberg, lies in the utmost tip of the very border of Germany, ten times nearer to Zurich, Switzerland, than to Berlin and as far away from Germany and the Germans as one can possibly get inside the country. A strange thing to do for a man who claimed he loved Germany and the Germans more than anything else. Don't you think so? Uh, real next to Octogon. Well, the Eagle's Nest is in the Alps where his finances are from and where he could escape to after the war. And this picture shows Adolf Hitler in 1923 in Zurich and ten times nearer to the Eagle's Nest in the Obersalzberg as Berlin is, where the Swiss Nazi Templars financed him 30,000 Swiss francs, about half a million dollars today. And here we can see the octagonal form of the eagle's nest. A present from the Swiss Nazi Templars from Octogon. I mean these are real solid proofs folks. Real solid. Don't forget this. Only Templars do this just as the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem is octagonal where the original temple was that gave the name to this evil order. This is an octagonal Templars church and here this one is in Metz in Lorraine in France but sometimes the Templars churches and chapels are round as this one here in London which is in fact a constructional compromise for the obvious reasons a real Templar's chapel or church must be octagonal. The top of Hitler's Nazis were all Nazi Templars from Octogon and they hated Germany and Europe. The Nazis never were the defenders of the white race as they presume and they never will be. They destroyed Europe and dropped bombs on millions of white European children's rooms and even burned white European babies alive in the ovens of various concentration camps. Well look at the proofs, it's all, the, it's all here. Look at the octagonal shape of the Obersalzberg. Only the Templ Templars do these things. The Nazi mystic mysticism comes from the Templars who never died away and it's all mystical 
because they never told any Europeans about it and kept it secret. Secret mystic. On December 25th, 1907, they founded the New Templars and still during the war on August 18, 1918, the Tula Secret Society, of which all the top Nazis were part of. The SS under Otto Rahn and Himmler even dug for tre Templars treasures all over Europe and North Africa and Rahn knew too much and got suicided on March 13, 1939. Later on Hollywood and Spielberg made the in Indiana Jones movies after the example of SS Otto Rahn. Here you can see his picture. This, this is the real Indiana Jones. You're all digging for all this Templar stuff. Many people got themselves suicided by the Swiss Nazi Templars, even today, where Uwe Bachschel, Wolfgang Umfogel, Ded Getschei, and many, many immigrants get suicided in Switzerland's torture centers. See my other vids about it. At least three of Hitler's lovers got suicided because they knew too much. One okay, but three? No, no way. Geli Raupal, here in the picture, got suicided on September 18th, 1931, with Hitler's gun. And, uh, yeah, well, she was one of his uh, lovers. So here the self-proclaimed tough guy warrior is eating cookies and cakes like, uh, like a grandmother. <laughs> What a joke. Eva Braun got suicided on April 30th, 1945. Another one of his lovers. So I can here you can see the tough cookie eater together with Eva Braun. And the English uh, Unity Mitford got suicided with again with Hitler's gun, just like Geli Raubal, on September the 3rd, 1939. And she went to a hospital in Bern, Octagon, and died 10 years later due to the suicidation. Now these women started asking too many questions about what these Swiss with suitcases full of money had to do there all the time around Hitler. And they had to go. They had to be terminated by suicidation. A suicidation means when others suicide someone. Unity Mitford was British aristocracy, a baroness and pharaonic per a, the big house. Now usually these people do not mingle with normal people, but Hitler himself was an initiated per a of the big royal house of the pharaohs, through his unknown father, Frankenberger. He was a part of the bloodline just as Mitford was. Hitler in fact was more busy chasing women than saving Germany. Well most artists and painters love women, don't they? And maybe I could even tell you what happened to Hitler's child with Unity Mitford. So here we can see um, that the, uh, the little pharaoh is already pushing in him inside. Oh, yeah. This is a Hitler's painting. I'd, I'd call this the Pharaoh show like made by Hitler. You know? Was he already aware of that? Or you know? And here in Adolf's Pharaoh show he painted the sun hieroglyph. And some more of Adolf's Pharaoh show. And here's some more, Yachin and Boaz, and the Freemasonry Triangle, painted by Adolf. I, it even looks damn good, I couldn't do that. I think he was a damn good artist. So how come, in fact, that an artist who loves women, and um, loves art, and 
how is it possible he gets so uh, full of hate and so uh, so violent? How is that possible? And if anyone believes that Hitler died in 1945, well, I mean, this is the official picture. He's got a hole in his uh, in his front head. I mean, and the other ones, the guards, they said, well, they shot him. He shot themselves in the side of his head. And look at his eyebrows. Come on. Well, fake and faking the evidence in the era of nuclear technology and missiles through drilling a few holes and fillings. Uh, filling the jaws of a few corpses would absolutely be no problem considering the abundance of dead human material in all sizes and all sorts of the disposal at the disposal of the Nazi Templars at the end of the war. And the testimonies of the SS guards and so-called last witnesses of Hitler's last whereabouts cannot be taken very serious either. The media presents these SS elite guards as normal soldiers to us who just obeyed orders and knew nothing. These were highly fanatic and selected men, in fact, who were even initiated and would never say anything, even under torture. And they were, in fact, never tortured. And this is very strange. Well, only the, in the innocent get waterboarded. Never ever throughout history the guilty and the evil ones got tortured. And Joseph Stalin, who is responsible for the murder of millions of Russian children, the execution of millions of people, Polish officers, Russian deserters and the rape of two million German women. Now why do you think that this guy and reincarnation of evil didn't just torture the last living witnesses who saw Adolf Hitler alive. I mean, they were just some German SS soldiers, weren't they? Well, because it's all a big lie, that's why. Hitler only spoke German, so at the age of 56 in 1945, and mentally and physically exhausted because of all the lying and acting, do you think he wanted to study another language? So where do you think they took him? Yes, Octogon. And after the war, the younger Swiss Nazi Templars, Templar war criminals went to the USA and Argentina and started working for the CIA and other key positions and just slipped into some other jackets as usual. Well, they're even on Facebook. Look at it. The former SS, you know. That's unbelievable. On November the 11th, 1918, when the First World War ended, Hitler stayed in the army until March 1920. Now, what did he do during those two years? Well, he worked as a spy or V-man from the, from the German word Verbindungsmann of the Aufklärungskommando for the police and the army. During two years he spied and lied to the German people and especially spied and lied to the German nationalists of the DAP, the Deutsche Arbeiterpartei, and the NSDAP, the later name, the German National Socialist Workers' Party. So over two years Hitler proves to us all that he's very capable of lying, spying, pretending to be someone else keep secrets, put on another face and hide. So why does a man who claims to be a German nationalist himself and a lover of the German people lie and spy to the German people and even their nationalists, doing so over a period of two long years? These two years from 1918 to 1920 prove that he can very well lie to his own people and that he's far from being an honest, truly believing German nationalist. And as the Nazi Templars from Switzerland like the anti-Semitic ideas of the NSDAP very much, Hitler becomes member 55 and this spy and infiltrator even becomes their leader or Führer on July 29th 1921, and due to his Sper A, pharaonic ancestry, he gets initiated by Octogon and the Templars, 
with true pharaonic rituals and exactly at this time we can witness the transition towards the perfection of evil and the transformation of his personality and the pharaonic reincarnation of his soul and pure evil which was only latent before due to his pharaonic genetics and bloodline only which was pushing him in him without awareness afterwards he's fully aware of who he really is and this happened in 1921 and very shortly after in 1923 it can be seen through this rare photograph of Adolf Hitler in Switzerland in Zurich who his real masters really are who financed him half a million dollars of today's value the Nazi Templars of Octagon, Switzerland. Oh, I can't see this evil face anymore. And after his successful infiltration and taking over of the organism, the virus eventually kills its host on June 30th, 1934, during the night of the Long Knives or the Blood Purge. Die Nacht der Langen Messer, by murdering all the early members and his early companions of German nationalists of the NSDAP, the National, the National Socialist Workers' Party, and the very founding fathers of the National Socialist Workers' Party. He murdered all his former companions and so-called friends as Ernst Röhm and many others. And then it was bye bye Germany, and the killing started. Germans, Europeans, Jews, gypsies, children, looting and plundering, making the Templar banks of Octagon, Switzerland, richer and richer, and ready to expand to other parts of the world. And guess who was responsible for the financial crisis of 1929, making the rise of the Nazis possible? I mean, it's exactly in this time. Making it possible through the trust of the German population of solving the financial crisis. Exactly. The Swiss Nazi Templar banks. It was a very solid operation. I mean, this was this this made the breakthrough of the Nazis possible, exactly when they needed it. Including the fact that when Hitler was sentenced to a five years prison sentence in 1923, he barely did half a year. So how come he only did 13 percent of his time? Who ordered to let him out? During this short and very comfortable time in prison, as you can see here, I mean, what a prison, I mean, he can eat his cookies and looks very comfortable. While the time was used for further initiation, writing Mein Kampf and setting the destiny of Europe, the enemy within is still very real today, and Hitler was one of them. An octagon is their base. The eagle's nest, as in Roman Nazi pharaonic eagle symbolism, in octagonal Templar's form, and the present of octagon, the base and the motherland. This is octagon. This is Switzerland. The home of the Templar Nazis. They did it. Especially in the early days of the German Nazis in the 30s and 20s, a lot of Freemasonry symbols are being used as the skull and bones here. And the fold out pyramid Templars flag as the Pope is having it.
Adolf Hitler himself doing Freemasonry symbols with his hands as all politicians do now today. Secret politician Freemason symbol. The hidden hand of the Freemasons, like Napoleon, like Stalin, like the rest. And watch his facial expressions of Mr. Goering while he's slipping his hand in his jacket. You can see he knows, you know, like he's, look at that. Now watch his face and the sneaky gesture while he's doing it. I mean, there's no doubt. Yep, they were all pharaohs financed by Switzerland. So watch the pharaoh show for more. I mean, there are real many, many uh, times you can find this uh, in history. So here we can see Mr. Edley is sleeping and... Um, Apparently even slept during D-Day on June the 6th, 1944. And apparently it never robbed him of his sleep, knowing that millions of Germans were dying. That didn't bother him, did it? Millions of Germans were dying. Children, women, all over the place. And this guy, he's just sleeping as a baby. Look at him. That doesn't bother him at all, does it? So here we're going to see Mr. Himmler, Heinrich Himmler of the SS, standing for ISIS and the Skull and Bones, total Freemasonry. So he's going to perform a uh, Freemason handshake. Well, with his thumb and the other bloke as well. He's going to push on the, um, here we can see that, on his knuckle. On his. So here we can see it again. Both of the blokes are pushing with their thumbs on the, uh, on the knuckle of the, uh, the right finger, of the, uh, the first finger, the index finger. Look. Look how they're twisting their hands. This is not a normal handshake, is it? There's probably a lot of things to see on his ring. So these are not Germans, they are not Europeans, these are the destroyers of Europe. You know, these were the Swiss Templars, the Swiss Nazi Templars of Octogon. So you see the handshake? So here we can see the Freemason handshake of the Pharaohs, just as Mr. Himmler just did. So this guy was not a German. He was a pharaonic Swiss Nazi Templar from Octagon. Here Mr. Edley is shaking the hand of Mr. Pierre Laval from France. Well look, it's all the same thing, eh? All Freemasons. And here too. Look 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 how he's how he crumbs his thumbs to be able to to push on the knuckle of the index finger. Look at that. Well, here's another Freemason handshake, just as Mr. Himmler did. They even got a name for it. The Shibboleth. Whatever that may mean. And, uh, well, the Nazis didn't tell the Germans about this, didn't they? Well, here's some more of it. Look at it. Well, look at it. It's all the same. Today is September 11, 11 years after. The Swiss did it, and I'll prove that to you. First watch my other vids, The Pharaoh Show, in which I explain how the Templars founded Switzerland in 1291. My videos about Octogon, the Swiss Nazi Templar secret organization, and how the Swiss Nazi Templars financed Hitler in 1923. September 11 is Enkutatash, a pharaonic sacrificial 
feast. And this is the country where they still celebrate uh, Enkutatash and was already mentioned by the pharaohs 5,000 years ago. And on September 11, 1343, the very last Templars got executed in the Blutgasse or Blood Alley in Vienna, Austria. Some 40 years after the famous Templars executions on Friday the 13th of October 1307 in France. So September 11 is a very important date for the Templars, a date which is connected with hatred and revenge. And exactly 700 years later in 1991, after the last crusade in 1291 when the crusades ended, the modern crusades against the Muslim world started again, as if they just picked it up again exactly 700 years later, from 1291 19, to 1991. And because the American Senate and the United Nations finally blocked a full-scale war, it needed a false flag operation. And the exact date of hatred and revenge of the Knights Templars or Nazi Templars on September the 11th. So here we can see the, sim the uh, symbol of the, uh, of the Templars on an American tank, an Abrams tank, on the, in, uh, during the Operation Desert Storm. There it is. This means the Templars control NATO and America. They did it. They did 9-11. And Switzerland Octagon is their base. The Nazi Templars from Octagon, Switzerland, control the world. They want the oil and the opium. And due to the US military invasions into the Muslim world, consequence to 9-11, a financial and economical collapse took place in the Arab and Muslim world which dragged the world into a big financial crisis with the banks of which only the Swiss Nazi Templar banks could make enormous profits and destabilized the entire world financially and otherwise. And yes, it was the Templars in 1291 after having founded Switzerland founded the Swiss banks with the famous Templars treasure and their notorious Nazi Templar organization Octogon is very capable of assassinations of all kinds as Peter Odensov declared last year. And Octogon is the only one capable of extracting intel from the CIA, MI, etc. due to their infiltration everywhere and mining the World Trade Center and keep it airtight. Here is a, um, a Templar's bank, it says in German, you know, the Swiss, yeah, in German, uh, in Palestine during the Second World War, before the State of Israel. Look, here's the, uh, here's the flag, you know, which came from the Templars, actually, which I showed you. It is a very strange picture here. In is in well, which is Israel now. I don't suppose it still says this here. There it is. The Bank of the Templars, it says in German, you know. The Swiss and their Templars are best at keeping secrets. These people never talk. And Octogon is an airtight organization. And they just smile to the world while repeating over and over again how clean and neutral they are. Or at the moment they repeat all the time that Octagon is a sovereign state. Many people on YouTube say that the Jews and the Mossad did 
But Jews can't keep any secrets. There's always a, Vanu, a Mordechai Vanunu who snitches about Israel's nuclear program at Dimona. Or some ex-Mossad guy who writes a book giving away Mossad's and Israel's secrets. Like Viktor Ostrovsky. The Jews talk too much for being a perfect spy. But oh boy, can these Swiss, their Templars, their banks, their Nazis and their Octogon keep secrets. Oh boy, can they keep secrets. Thousands of years. It's the black nobility, Per A, Pharaonic, Nazi Templars, Octagon that rules the world. They are pure Pharaonic, Per A breed. As all the Templars are noble, noblemen, their base is Octagon, Switzerland. They own the banks, lead the Freemasons, execute people all over the world and never ever talk or break the silence. Here you can see a Swiss cave. Uh, after World War Two, with all the Nazi looted goods, um, gold and, and valuables, and look here in Switzerland, Octagon. They control the foreigners and the immigrants through the Tsar organization, meaning a king in Pharaonic, as in a sarcophagus or see Tsar. Well, watch the Pharaoh show. This is pure Pharaonic. So these are official Tsar documents, you know, they're so proud of their total control. The Swiss Templars. Oh. And their system, you know, to uh, control the Swiss state, it's called ISIS. Uh, Staatsschutzinformationssystem. So that means the uh, protection of the state information system. Well, ISIS, you know, that's pharaonic. Uh, they use ISIS, you know, the whore of Babylon, who gave him name to Switzerland. See the Pharaoh show. So this is part of the Swiss secret service, ISIS. Oh, nice, eh? So this is part of the ISIS documents. You can all find it in the internet, really. Oh. Total control. Is anyone any doubts? You know, the, the octagon is pharaonic. Isis, the sisters of Isis, les sœurs d'Isis, schwester de Isis. Now this is Switzerland, this is Octagon. Total control, Templars, Pharaonic, the masters of the world. Here's where the Pharaohs are. Tsar for total control for the foreigners and Isis to protect the state. Well, what more do you want? Well, here she is again, Isis. And she's not really crying. They did it. Octagon of Switzerland did 9-11. The pharaohs of Per A, the big royal house, rules the world. Their base is Octagon, Switzerland. Their political wing, the Freemasons. Their financial wing, the Swiss banks. And their military wing, the Nazi Templars of Switzerland, Octagon. And here you can see Isis, who gave the name to Switzerland. It's October 28, 2012, in Switzerland. And it's been snowing the whole day. This is what it looks like. There. Uh, yeah, we had to put the clock last night, one hour back. It's winter time. Well, it certainly is winter time. See? Well, 
I can't go out because of the murder threats by the Swiss police and the, uh, the Justice Department. So I just stay in the balcony, get some fresh air. So then we went inside and burned the coffee. And with the coffee we had a cake. Usually my wife makes the cakes herself because we don't have so much money to buy it all. But I think she got it from someone. So the cake wasn't here. That year the round thing was in here. And when I lifted it like this and I took away the white circle here I suddenly saw something. So at first I thought well it looks like a sort of a Star Wars design for kids you know and then I saw it. You see the octagon and inside is the hexagon so and around it is a uh, quadrangle and the quadrangle is the base of the pyramid I mean that's we underneath look at the dollar on top it's them the base it's we so that's the quadrangle then we got the octagon that's the middle circle and the middle circle protects the inner circle from us the base uh, the hexagon so the hexagon is the inner circle that's the Freemasons the politicians their polit political wing and then there is the um, the octagon which is the the military wing the uh, Nazi Templars with their base octagon Switzerland so th th this is amazing even under a cake they put all these things you know even there it's 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 amazing I, I've never seen this but but it's here so you see the quadrangle then the uh, the the middle circle is the octagon to protect hexagon from us and hexagon is the uh, the inner circle the politicians well I mean look around how they are they got all this protection because uh, from octagon you know remember the octagon shape on a police badge and a police hat you know octagon is between hexagon and the quadrangle between them. So these guys, you know, they even put it at the bottom of a cake. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely hilarious, it is. Oh man. There it is. So, there's the hexagon in the middle. See? There it is. That's the. Uh, the inner circle, the six. So the inner circle is the six, which is protected by the eight. And we, well, I suppose we are four. Yeah, and the, we're just the people, yeah. So, in fact, this proves again what I told you before is that hexagon orders octagon. So the political wing orders the military wing, the police, the army, yeah, and we are just a quadrangle. And the cat's just thinking, what are you talking about? Let me sleep. This is the cat, by the way, his hind leg, uh, one of them was uh, chopped off. Um, well, he's still there. Happy to be inside. There it is. Satellite pictures of the planet Saturn have shown a huge hexagram or hexagon which looks exactly as the plastic under my cake and it has to be considered that the guy who owns the plastic factory rather belongs to the financial elite than to the working class who belongs to the financial pharaohs with all their secret lodges 
sacred symbology and the true masters of our planet. There's a whole sacred world of the enemy within, amongst and around us, of which we hardly have any knowledge uh, due to their hiding st strategy and laws of silence, camouflaged by lies and eternal false promises. These secret symbols show among themselves that they're part of the Per A big house clan and that the item should be bought at their factory almost as vulgar as a dog lifting its hind leg to mark its territory. Saturn again, I think there's another spot. So this is the uh, like the satellite picture of Saturn really. There it is. Well, I hope the cake doesn't do this in my stomach. So that's Saturn again. And if they already hide their secret markings under the cake, what do you think what nanotechnology fertility killing materials are hiding within the cake? Today I read in the newspaper how outdoor jackets contain immunity killing uh, thyroid gland destroying and fertility attacking chemicals as po polyfluorized PFC chemicals or even worse the perfluorooctan acids. So you're sweating inside this lab tight structure, the pores and doors of your system are wide open and it gets all sucked inside your genetic system and um, it kills the uh, our human fertility. The bees are dying and uh, we won't be able to make any more children soon. With all these hidden dangers in our cakes and clothes, we'll soon have to fill in a triple form to apply for an artificial insemination where of course only the pharaoh's DNA will be injected to fulfill our mammal instincts of getting pregnant and have children. For everyone. Well, for spreading their di uh, genetics, this works even better than the um, the first right or the uh, prime noctus, the um, le droit du seigneur. So, just back to my cake. Uh, so here's the square, which is the um, which is us, the uh, the pyramid, and here we can see the square here as well around it and that's we underneath and on top it's them ordering us the top of the hierarchy so it's amazing how stupid they think we are I mean in this symbol here under the cake they uh, give away the um, uh, the symbol of power, the structure of power. Here it is, under a cake. This is the structure of power. This is exactly how it works. And I just wanted to give you some more numbers. The hexagon symbolizes the square and compass. The number six. You get the picture? The octagon symbolizes Switzerland and the Templars. The number eight. And we are the base of the pyramid, the number four giving all together 684 from inside to the outside and when minus 18 which is 6 plus 6 plus 6 then the number 666 will appear the wartime number when we the 4 will be given the number 2 from 8 so the octagon the military police Nazi Templar forces one point all weapon in each hand and the right to kill will be given. So 666 is the right to kill whereas 684 only octagon has this right. 
So 6 gives the orders to 8 and 8 gives the orders to 4. So the hexagram or hexagon is 6 is the square and compass. Planet Saturn. Planet Saturn. They laugh at us, the enemy within. Because they can get humanity, get used to everything. As all organization is useless. Because it will get infiltrated and betrayed in the end. Because they are hiding. Humanity can only resist by the sacrifice of the independent warrior. Keeping his intentions to himself and who sacrifices his middle-aged life for the beloved and younger offspring. Some mothers make warriors out of your sons so the pharaohs can't get them and make soldiers out of them. Only the independent sacrifice of the individual will provide mankind's delivery of the uh, reign of the enemy within. All organization otherwise will shatter. We still outnumber them but not for long anymore. If we don't act now and honor the lone warrior principle well, honestly, I think mankind is too stupid, too cowardice and too selfish to understand this. In the book of Revelations, John talks about 666, the mark of the beast. But these Arab figures were first introduced after the Arab conquest in the 17th century AC. So at John's times, Roman figures were used. So we have to visualize the 666 as V1, 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 Roman. But when being a seer, revelations are not that clear to see. And he couldn't interpret the W, because the Roman W or Unshal was quite round. So he finally interpreted the W by a Roman V1 or 6. Just one line missing due to all the different lines of the W. And only with www. we can buy and sell today in the modern way of electronic money. And the beast had seven heads and ten horns. As Switzerland, the home of the pharaohs, has seven heads of state who divide ten ministries among each other. The beast. Swiss pharaohs. That's why they finance the destruction of Europe with their banks and their Nazis and their Hitler and all the dictators and their drugs. It's a center of drugs.